Larry Tamarian, buddy! It actually turns out I think we're actually in the kingdom of Redania. Slow now. Whoa. Oh, alright. Anyway, it's just about sunset Goodbye. in the White Orchard region. Oh, what's going Whoa. on? It's just a deer. Come on. Anyway, go, oh yeah, go. the wildlife is quite amazing in this uh, game. We might see uh, like a whole herd of deer running around. Um, if you catch the deer all running together, you'll see them how it's hey, like yeah. a perfect algorithm. Like the way the wildlife flocks together. It's really cool. Uh, so anyway, we are about to work on this quest, which is to kill the griffin. Now, we're not actually to level 3 yet, and I want to get up to level 3, so it's a little bit easier to deal with the griffin. So we do have a witcher contract um, that we grabbed when we were in White Orchard. Uh, but let's see what else we can do on the map. Now remember, you can uh, pop into the map anytime. Because I read that notice board, everything on the map unlocked. See, so I've got um, all these interest, these points of interest. There's a point of interest over here, so we can explore any of these. Um, oh, this is amazing! What's this? Okay, let's go over there and check it out. Right? That's how you do it. This is kind of how you gain experience: is just check out uh, undiscovered locations on the map. You never know what you're going to find, right? Oh, by the way, the textures should look a bit better now. Um, my, for some reason, my textures were set Move to low. It. I don't know what happened. I think uh, with the last update... Oh, here's some experience. Here's the board. Chop! Not too hard, huh? Haha, -ha, how do you like that? Yeah, um, fighting on horseback is recommended because um, you have a little bit of protection. Hey, where are they going? Oh, no wonder. There's a warrig chasing me. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Let's get let's get a little closer let's to go. the warrig. Jump the fence. Come on, warrig. Hey, where's the... Oh, there's another one. Actually, let's get this one now. Chop! Whoops, I didn't have my sword out. My fault. Chop! Chip! Chirp! Sometimes it can be a little hard to... Come on. Kill him. Oh, okay. So the horse was really spooked by all these, uh, all this wildlife. Uh oh, it's a necker. Okay, I can't deal with all these. What is going on? Oh, I see. Man, these controls are wonky. I had a necker uh, focused, and because of that, so my. Oh, he's still all freaked out. Yeah, it was messing up my navigation. I couldn't get out of there. Okay, now I'm having a minor problem. This is kind of what I wanted. Damn, I just didn't want it to happen like this, that's all. There, I killed the Neckerton. And here comes another Neckerton. Hey, Necker, here's a uh, chop, chop. And you too. There, see, I focused on him. I don't know what the six means. I'll have to find out what that means a little bit later. Man, look at all these uh, dead bodies to loot. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, oh, I got a lesser mutagen. So this is the first time I ever found I looted a mutagen. So you can use it to enhance your abilities or to create a special potion called a mutagen decoction. Uh, we can learn more in a little bit. Let's loot a few more idiots first. Ooh, blow ball. Okay, and right here I spliced the video because we were getting too sidetracked by these monsters. I kind of want to work on this uh, quest or this undiscovered location. I want to show you how easy it is to find things to do in the region of White Orchard. There's so many things. I think there's uh, 20 or 30 undiscovered locations on the map. Ooh! So this is the undiscovered location and we have to fight ghouls, I guess. Okay, fine. Uh, let's let's try to do it on horseback until we get knocked off. Oh, come on, horse. He's getting gummed up on the fence. Seriously? There, that wasn't too hard. And where's another one? Hmm, there's another one over there. Okay, let's chop him up. <laughs> I hate how he doesn't have his sword out. Why didn't you keep your sword out, buddy? Yeah, it's there. See, it's really clunky sometimes. You, sometimes it just doesn't work to try to kill these guys on horseback. There, see? There, that's good. Now I have to get out of the way. Oh yeah, by the way, you can't jump 
when you're in battle, you can only roll out of the way, so I can't jump over the fence. That is so ridiculous. But I don't think they can get over the fence either. So I can regenerate my health. You see how I'm almost dead. Just gotta wait. <laughs> Poor horse. Yeah, come on, come on. So that's what this undiscovered location is. It's a ghoul infestation. Here's ghoul's blood. That's good. I think there's only two left. I can take these guys on, can I? Yeah, I can take them on. Ah, uh, chop, chip, chip, chirp. There. One down, one to go. And he's over here. All right. Hey, what's up? You tried to chop on my horse, I'll chop on you. Aw. Oh. All right. And now what? Oh, it's a cutscene. Well, that's interesting. These must have been the little townsfolk of this tiny little hamlet. And now that I killed the ghouls, they moved back in. Yep, they did. Good. <laughs> do I get any experience? Yes, I do. There you go. So it says area liberated and the populace has returned. It's amazing. Hoi! So, and I also leveled up to three. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, let's loot the ghoul's blood, and then there's one more ghoul over here to loot. Venom extract, fine. Now also take a look at that. There's a merchant over here, so we can uh, unload some of our stuff. Yeah, the merchant moved back Great in. Games. Show me everything you got. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. It takes a little while to learn this interface, but you get the hang of it. So, um, you know what I should have done? Let's actually go out for a second. And of course, it it's a really clunky interface. There's a lot of things about this Farewell. UI that I don't like. Let's see. Okay, so I currently have this equipped. Um, I think that's the best one I have. Yeah, see, so we're going to get rid of all the... We're not going to get rid of our old armor, but I'll get rid of all these swords. The singing swords. And Greetings. I'm almost out of food. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. So I better buy a little bit more of those. It's pretty easy to sell these things, see? It's just clunk, clunk, clunk. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I don't like keeping things around. Well, I have enough raw meat. I can actually eat that, I think. Yeah, I can. And then I can eat the honeycomb. Well, I, I think I'm okay for now. Let's see if he's got anything exciting. Parsley leaves. No, that's used in alchemy. Ooh, yeah, is the chicken leg. I could buy a chicken leg if I needed to. Oh, that's food. Used in alchemy. Okay, I don't need all that stuff. Um, anything that I have more than like 10 of, I sometimes sell. Like, I might sell a few of these. There, see? Made a little bit of money. Not a whole lot, but... Okay, good. That's all for now. Thank you. That's a great way to offload all of your uh, bulky oh, wow. inventory. Okay, so now we've leveled up. Yes, we have. So let's... Uh, level us up uh, character now remember um, I my fast attack is at level 2 already but take a look at this uh, there are some general perks that you can take like vitality regenerates an additional 10 points per second when not in combat I don't know if that's uh, all that great and then this one crossbow bolts deal 25% more damage hey you know I could use that actually and then this increases my maximum vitality by 500, but I'm already at 3,700, so that, that doesn't really do a whole lot for me. Hmm, what should we do? What should we do? Well, why don't we keep working on this for now? It's better to kind of uh, focus on one at a time. And then, ooh, deflect arrows while parrying. That's interesting. Uh, and then here's my crossbow stuff. Time slowed an additional... 15% while aiming the crossbow. Hey, that might work. Uh, yeah, why don't we uh, upgrade this for right now? Upgrade, please. Hoi! There, now my fast attack damage is increased by 15%. That's how you do it. Yeah. So now what? Do you think we're ready for the uh, griffin? Uh, let's do, since we don't want to actually start the griffin battle yet, let's... Uh, find one more location one more undiscovered location and since we're already over here 
uh, close to the garrison. Why don't we discover this next? Let's head over there. Get over here, horsey. Yeah, it's fun. I've actually um, uh, looked at some of these locations, and it's interesting. It's just a mix of a little bit of everything. Uh, and then we'll do a Witcher contract, and then after Let's we're go. done with that, then we'll fight the Griffin. It'd be nice to get up to level 4, but it said the recommended level is 3, so we're there already. Oh, look at that. It's an undiscovered... It's uh, deserters. They were soldiers, and they deserted the battle. Okay. Deserters, eh? I've got something for deserters. Hey, what happened? Huh, that's odd. Don't let him catch his breath! Okay, yeah, don't let me catch my breath. Better not. Chop, chip, chop, chip, chop. He's dead. Now you're dead next. Ouch. Somebody's, okay, somebody's getting me with a crossbow. I'm gonna have to, er, he's got a bow and arrow. There. Now I don't have to worry about him. Am I okay? Yep, I'm okay for the moment. Chip. Oh, shit. <laughs> Caught him off guard. Chip, chop. And what else? Nope, that's it. That was all of them. What do you think of that? And we'll take a look and see how much uh, experience we grabbed for that. Thank you for the loot. Lootington, tootington. And what has he got? Oh, he's got a pipe and a sword. So we can always go right back and sell these swords away to that person we just uh, talked to a little while ago. Okay, there's some good loot here. Whoa. Check it out. Florence, it's cotton horse hide. And here's, this is how you learn how to craft stuff. You have to grab diagrams. So you can loot them. You can also buy them from vendors. So here I have a split bolt. So yes, there are crossbows in the game. They just don't pop up until you start fighting the griffin, actually. Um, and here's a new decoction that I can use to fight noon wraiths. Interesting. I don't know if I'm going to be fighting a noon wraith anytime soon, but that's good to know. And, oh, here's another looting tin. Uh, Amateur's Armor Repair Kit. Okay, now remember, uh, in The Witcher, all of your weapons get damaged, and all of your armor gets damaged, and you have to repair them, because they degrade over time, and they become less effective. So I like, I like how uh, realistic that is. Oh no, he's dead. Oh, I hear some rustling. Okay, here's more looty tooty. Uh, Here's a t diagram of Sidarian Gambeson and a Kate Winnie Gambeson. Wow, that's some really good loot right there. See, so there's a new diagram. That, now, you cannot craft items unless you're at a forge or a, like an armorsmith. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Remember, you have to, you have to ignite the honeycombs to grab them. It'll fall down in a second, then you can loot it. See, there you go. Looty tooty. That's actually what I use to replenish my vitality or my health when I'm in battle. You can eat it while you're in battle. Don't forget that. Okay, I think we've uh, grabbed everything in this camp. Yep, we have. Interesting, eh? Uh, what else was I going to show you? There's one other thing. Um, we can't use the blackjack yet. Yeah, those are... Oh, yeah, the the armor repair kit so let's use it um we could use it to repair mine i'm down to 96 percent so let's uh craft it there now it should be at 100 there you go that's how you use an armor repair kit boy we can sell this for some good gold we'll do that uh later on Actually, i think we'll do that next time um oh uh, let's see where's the horse we could go back <gasps> oh no i just wasted my tawny oil i pressed the wrong button I pressed F. I thought that the X button is to call the horse. Damn it. Hey, wait a minute. There's verfs. Okay. Let's end the battle like this. Let's end the video like fighting wolves and bards. Chop. Chop. Okay, now I'm going to calm my horse down. See? He's calmed down now. Come on, get closer, Lord. Chop. And I think that was it. Yep, that was it. Let's loot these guys. Remember to loot everything in the game. It helps. It really does help because uh, you're very often missing ingredients you need to craft something or to do whatever. So loot everything. See, I'm looting the Celandine. I know that I use Celandine for something. Let's see if there's anything over here. This kind of leads into that bog. Remember where the drowners were? We killed a few drowners. 
Yeah, we don't want to get too embroiled in this ugly bog again. And there is something over here. Uh, we'll deal with that next time. That's probably going to be like a drowner nest or something. Okay, we'll pick up here next time. So if you like this, you can subscribe to my channel and you'll get all these Witcher 3 videos in your inbox. And remember, I also upload Skyrim and Fallout 3. Um, I'm doing Grand Theft Auto 5, and I do all these on Twitch too. I'll be streaming in a different character of The Witcher 3, a different Geralt on Twitch. He's going to be a significantly higher level. I think he's level 5 already. I'm going to be streaming him. Okay, and um, support my channel by clicking the like button and subscribing and add a comment. Those all help me out a lot, okay? And I appreciate it. We'll see you next time in Wide Orchard. Thanks for watching.